Hey, this is Eric from Canvas Press. You know, we get questions from our customers all the time asking how they can make their own gallery wrap canvas prints. Well, you are in luck because today we're going to give you a behind the scenes look at the complete process on how Canvas Press creates beautiful gallery wraps from photos to canvas. First, let me introduce you to Adam. Say hi, Adam. Adam is in charge of our workshop and is the man responsible for making your canvas as beautiful as it can be. Adam will be our demonstrator today and will be taking us step by step through the process of creating your photo canvas masterpiece. Let's follow him over to the computer. He's already got an example pulled up. And step one is to make sure the image looks correct and is cropped correctly. Today we're going to end up with a 20 by 16 canvas print and we're going to stretch it onto a frame that is one and a half inches deep. So, even though we're going to end up with a, a 20 by 16 inch print, we're going to need to crop this image to the width of 23 and a half, type that in there, selected my crop tool, by 19 and a half inches at 180 dpi. And the reason why we need to do this, we're going to add three and a half inches to the width and three and a half inches to the height to accommodate because we have a one and a half inch frame that we want the photo to wrap around. So we need to give this photo a little bit extra room to breathe. So I'm going to go ahead and choose my crop tool and go ahead and crop it. Select my crop, hit enter. Just going to think for a second. And there is my crop. And this is going to give us that sought after gallery wrap look where the image wraps around the edge of the photo. So Adam is all finished with cropping the image. And we're going to step two, which is printing your canvas. Printers are over there. I don't, don't get your coffee on the desk. There you go. Can't live without that stuff, can you? You're so welcome. We use large format Epson printers. They have archival ink and we print onto 60 inch wide rolls of artist quality canvas. Yes, these are huge printers, but it gives us the flexibility of producing all types of custom sized photos on canvas. You probably are not going to find one of these printers at Office Max. <laughs> Once our canvas has been printed and checked for quality, we have our final print and it is ready to be stretched onto the frame. So we better go build that frame for the print. Let's go ahead and follow Adam to the workshop. And as you all know, it is always safety first in the workshop, so let's let Adam get geared up. All right, he's ready to go. Step three, Adam is in the workshop building the 16 by 20 frame for the print. We custom build each and every frame for every order that comes into Canvas Press from scratch. Man, Adam works fast. That's gonna be a good looking frame, man. All right, we're on to the final steps. We're gonna now take a look at the most vital part of the process, and that's stretching the canvas onto the frame. You really wanna start with a clean surface. That way you don't get any dust or dirt or scratches on the canvas as you work on it. I'm just gonna lay it out and then lay the frame on top of it to really make sure everything's lined up correctly before you start stapling. Because truthfully, once you start stapling, there really is no going back. So you wanna be careful. The canvas press, we have these great handy air powered staplers. I really recommend those if you want to try doing this. We also have these, these alligator clips that you really cannot do any kind of hand stretching without. These are a must have tool. And Adam is a true craftsman. He's been doing this for a while for Canvas Press. And you can really see it in his craftsmanship and, and, and his skill at, at hand stretching these, these gallery wraps. In this last step, stretching the frame is crucial. If it isn't stretched well, the print will sag and it will look, look droopy. Let me tell you, nobody wants a droopy canvas print. So we have this special equipment that helps ensure a quality stretched canvas. And like I said, not to mention those really cool air powered staple guns that really finish the canvas off. So if you're gonna try this at home, you're gonna need a few things. You need a computer with some good editing, editing software such as Photoshop or Photoshop Elements, a really good printer, a canvas material that you can print on with your inkjet printer, some one by two wood, a saw, a good staple gun, and some patience. Here's our finished piece. Man, Adam, you did a great job. That thing is drum tight. Thanks everybody for taking a look at this and we will see you next time at Canvas Press.